I don't want to do this. He wants to do this. Thinks it'll help. Stupid bastard. Well, I want you to know no matter what he says or what you say, nothing will ever help. He's weak. He's weak and always will be. I mean, what in the name of fuck does he think therapy is going to do? What in the name of fuck does he think talking to a camera all day is going to do? Fix him. Help him. There's nothing that can fix him. No matter what, he'll always be a scared little boy, sat in the corner, scared shitless. That's who he is. That's him. It's his nature. Pitiful. I swear to God, I don't know. I don't know why I just don't put him out of his misery. We shouldn't be eating. I guess this is day one. Um, I know that you said you wanted me to start documenting my experiences, and that making a video diary would help, so um, help me put the pieces together. So, so this is it, obviously. I think it happened again yesterday. I remember coming home from our session And then the rest of the day is just gone. There are signs downstairs that Jason's been around. There was some white powder on the coffee table. I, I swear I don't know anything about... I, mean, I don't even know where he gets that stuff from. I know he wouldn't like what we're doing. As you know, he's been appearing a lot more in our sessions recently. I, uh... I remember what you said about him feeling threatened. I think I'm starting to agree. to think of how he's going to react to all this. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm sorry. Okay, um, I made it into uni today. Got through a whole seminar completely normal. For the first time in weeks. My tutor was surprised to see me. I think she, uh, I think she had given up on me. But after the seminar, I told her that I've not given up on myself yet. So, so she shouldn't either. Hello to anyone out there who's listening. Right now I am escaping from an evil prison where there's a bad man who hurts people. He tried. It's going cold. Do you want to come down? 
I'm busy. I'm not hungry. He tried to catch me. But I escaped. I know a secret way that he doesn't know. And I had help from... from Batman. And now I can live in the Batcave. And he doesn't know where to find me. David says that a Batman prison game is my favourite game. Makes me feel better. I'm supposed to talk to you about things that Stephen doesn't know about the man. There are lots of things that Stephen doesn't know and Mummy doesn't know. Mummy knows a lot. I don't think she wants to know everything. I don't know how much more I can take this. I know that you said it was important. I didn't watch the footage until we met again. You have no idea. No idea how hard it's been. What if, what if it's just been me talking to the camera? What if this whole thing is just a waste of time? What if I... I never want to watch the footage. Watch it all back. Sometimes I just want to smash it to pieces. It's time to get lost, David. I'm sorry. I know you're only trying to help me. Sometimes. I think the only one is actually trying to help. <laughs> nice bed. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? You don't think I'm gonna let you film me, do you? It'll end up on the fucking internet. What's wrong with that? I'm sure plenty of people enjoyed seeing that, wouldn't you? Or are you afraid? Never want to see what a day of slut you are. I'm serious. Turn it off or it's not happening. Say I'm dirty. Say I'm a dirty little slut and I'll turn it off. I'm a dirty little slut. Now turn it off. Sorry, David. You're not going to get to see the show tonight. I bet you'll enjoy thinking about it, though, won't you, eh? So, Stephen, this is the first time we've met since I've asked you to start documenting your experiences. As agreed, we're going to be filming the sessions from now on, as you've had the most extreme episodes in my presence in the past. How do you feel today? 
I've also made the decision that you're ready to start watching some of the footage you've managed to record over the past few days. I want you to know, Stephen, that I appreciate how difficult this must be for you, and how brave you're being right now. You've clearly been through a great deal, but I strongly believe that you're ready to face exactly what happened to you as a child. I want you to know that no matter how upsetting what you may see, may be, there are people who are here for you and care about you a great deal. Do you think watching the footage will help it stop? I think it will make you remember the things that you've been keeping hidden. If you can bring those things to the forefront of your conscious mind, well then, you can start to process them and gradually heal. Process? Yes. And heal. I'm scared. I know, Stephen. And I'll never give you more than you can handle. I promise. We're here to take steps forward, not back. I'm hoping that at the end of this process, you'll have a real understanding of why you are the way you are. You'll have such a complete understanding of the strategies you've used to keep your mind safe that you won't need them anymore. Do you understand? What if it's just me? Nobody is just anything. We're made and broken and remade into whatever we need to be to survive. If we can truly know and value ourselves, well then the potential for healing and happiness is limitless. In my opinion. Are you ready? Press play. Do this. He wants to do this. Hello. 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 Hello.